Hey, this is Jason, and this freeze tutorial video is going to go into a new object as of December 2012 that's called a criteria filter. And what the criteria filter does is it allows you to uh, filter out records from a query. Um, I'm going to show you where that comes into play, actually. In the generated app, uh, if you go to the customers uh, table, this is the um, the example cargo app which you can play with on the website and also download. And if I type in the search box here, Jones, uh, I get this record number one because Jim Jones shows up. But if I type New York, I get three records and it's uh, that's part of the city. Uh, if I type in the word company, it's uh, giving me these two records because the company uh, column has a company. So how is this working? It's apparently searching uh, all of the results, all of the columns, uh, and where this actually shows up in the code, if you go to the customer controller, query method, that's the one that supplies the uh, data for that table, you'll notice this new bit called a criteria filter. Basically we've taken the criteria, the normal uh, customer criteria, and called a method called add filter on it and uh, I'm going to go into how that works right now. So I've created a new route and that route is just uh, cargo slash test and what this route points to is this test controller example. I've already typed in some code here so that I can move quickly through it. So what we have here to start with is just a criteria object but we don't actually add any criteria. Essentially, this is just a select all from the customer table and then render it as JSON. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uncomment these two lines. And this is similar to what we just did in the user interface. I filtered for the word Jones. And if I refresh this, you'll see we just get the one record back, Jones. Uh, but I could, uh, just to show you, I could change this to New York. And then now we're going to get the three records back. So what is this doing exactly? What it allows you to do is it allows you to specify one or more columns and then specify a search term and it will search all of those columns uh, for the search term that you provide. Let's just get into this. Uh, a new criteria filter is being created and if we go into the criteria filter object it's a really simple class. Uh, inside the constructor we basically just pass in property names which can either be an array or a comma delimited string. And then the next thing is the value, which is the value that we're going to be searching for. And finally the third parameter, which is optional, is called type. And that's sort of reserved for future use. Uh, right now the only type that's supported is what I'm calling a search. And that's basically a light query. Uh, and what the criteria filter does, it just has one method that it essentially has to implement, which is get where and you can see what this thing does is it just basically goes through each of the property names and it just says uh, where it's like uh, the value. So it's a pretty simple class but it allows you to do a lot of pretty complicated stuff. So let's get back to this. Basically we say a new criteria filter and we pass in this comma delimited uh, string of the fields that we want to search. And we're going to search for New York. Uh, if I were to take this out and say oh, we're only going to search the error column, uh, we're not going to get any results back. Yeah, just empty array. But I could put in um, only just the city column equals New York, and it's searching the city column. If I were to change this to say name, it's only going to search the name column, so again we don't get any results. Okay, so one thing I haven't talked about yet are these percent signs. What are those? Well, if you're a SQL person, then you probably know that you use percent signs to indicate a wildcard character. One thing I could do, for example, if I put the word York in there, like this, it's still going to find the three uh, records for New York. But if I were to put take out this first one, what this is saying is find where it begins with York and then in wildcard anything afterwards. So this is going to give us uh, no results. Let's see, because it doesn't begin with York. Now if I were to change this to say new, now we get the three results again. 
So the percent sign is a wildcard character. Okay, so lastly, let's look at what the actual SQL is doing. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out the render JSON, and I'm going to uncomment these two lines. And observer objects are sort of like handlers or listeners. So observe to browser basically says every message that the data adapter sends this observer is just going to echo it out to the browser. So basically we're just seeing the inner workings of the data adapter. So it opened the connection, the connection opened successfully, it's executing a select statement, um, and then it's looping through the results. So the thing that we really want to look at here is the select statement. Uh, the part that we're really concerned with is right here, where customer city is like new or customer name is like new. Now if I were to get rid of name, and we refresh that, we can just see it's just only looking at the city column. If I were to put in ID comma city comma name comma company. And then we refresh. We can see here the where statement has uh, you know all of those columns in there. I'm going to wrap up this video here, but one thing I want to mention just to give you an idea is that you could actually extend the criteria filter object and you could override the get where property and you could build your SQL any way that you wanted. So essentially you could create your own types of filters to do advanced querying of the database. And that's it for the criteria filter. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.